The Madden NFL Video Game Series The Madden NFL Video Game Series, named after former coach and broadcaster John Madden, has become a cultural phenomenon, allowing fans to experience the excitement of football virtually. Lawrence Taylor, The Making of a Defensive Dynasty When discussing the greatest defensive players in NFL history, one name that is sure to come up is Lawrence Taylor. Known for his ferocious playing style and dominant presence on the field, Taylor was a force to be reckoned with during his time in the league. In this video, we will take a closer look at the career of Lawrence Taylor and explore how he became one of the most iconic defensive players in NFL history. Early Life and College Career Lawrence Taylor was born on February 4, 1959, in Williamsburg, Virginia. He grew up in a rough neighborhood and faced many challenges during his youth. Despite these obstacles, Taylor excelled in football and quickly made a name for himself as a standout player. After a successful high school career, Taylor went on to play college football at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. During his time at UNC, Taylor established himself as one of the top defensive players in the country. He was a two-time All-American and won the Vince Lombardi Award as the top college lineman or linebacker in the nation. Drafted by the New York Giants In the 1981 NFL Draft, Lawrence Taylor was selected with the second overall pick by the New York Giants. The Giants were coming off a disappointing season and were in desperate need of a spark on defense. Taylor proved to be the missing piece they were looking for. Taylor made an immediate impact in his rookie season, earning Defensive Rookie of the Year honors. He recorded nine, five sacks and quickly established himself as one of the most feared pass rushers in the league. In his second season, Taylor took his game to another level, recording a league-leading 20, five sacks and winning the NFL Defensive Player of the Year award. Super Bowl success. Throughout his career, Lawrence Taylor was a key contributor to the success of the New York Giants. In 1986, Taylor helped lead the Giants to their first Super Bowl victory in franchise history. He was named the NFL MVP that season and was a dominant force on defense, helping the Giants become one of the most feared defensive units in the league. Taylor's impact on the Giants was undeniable, and his presence on the field struck fear into the hearts of opposing offenses. His combination of speed, strength, and instinct made him a nightmare for quarterbacks and offensive linemen alike. Off the Field Issues Despite his success on the field, Lawrence Taylor's career was not without controversy. In 1988, Taylor tested positive for cocaine and was suspended for 30 days by the NFL. This incident marked the beginning of a downward spiral for Taylor as he struggled with substance abuse issues for much of his career. Despite his off-the-field troubles, Taylor remained a dominant force on the field and continued to terrorize opposing offenses. He retired in 1993 as one of the greatest defensive players in NFL history, finishing his career with 1,089 tackles, 132, 5 sacks, and 9 interceptions. Legacy Lawrence Taylor's impact on the game of football cannot be overstated. He revolutionized the linebacker position, setting a new standard for pass rushers and becoming the prototype for the modern-day edge rusher. His intensity, athleticism, and playmaking ability made him a game-changer on defense and earned him a spot in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999. Lawrence Taylor's career serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and dedication. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his life, Taylor was able to overcome adversity and achieve greatness on the football field. His legacy as one of the greatest defensive players in NFL history will continue to inspire future generations of athletes for years to come. Lawrence Taylor is truly a defensive dynasty unto himself.